Hello everyone and welcome to episode 114 of ASA, my Q&A series where I answer your questions. As always, thank you for the support in the last episode. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. That being said, if you have a question or two for the next episode, leave it down below in the comments of this episode so I can answer it in the next episode. And while you're down there, if you would be oh so kind to leave a like, I would greatly appreciate that too. Now let's get into the question starting with B.E. Brick Abel. I'm not sure if I said your name right, but he says ASA. What is your five favorite Star Wars sets? That is a very tough question for me to answer because there's just so many great and just awesome sets. So I'm going to narrow it down to last year. Basically top five favorite sets from 2023. So my fifth pick in my top five would have to be the Coruscant Guard gunship. Now I know not a lot of people like this set, especially because of the Fox minifigure. And then I personally don't like the stud shooters replacing the bubble turrets. A playset gunship is still always welcomed in my book, even if it's not the greatest gunship. I will agree that the price is also kind of cruddy, but I still think it's a good gunship. My fourth pick would have to be the Captain Rex helmet. Lego Star Wars is sadly already I think doing away with helmet sets and so though this is not my favorite helmet set I would say that from last year this is just an amazing helmet set I think it's really nice looking I love the blue and the white Captain Rex is Captain Rex right like who doesn't like Captain Rex it's a fantastic helmet, so if you don't have this one, I recommend getting it. My third favorite set would definitely have to be the Emperor's Throne Room Diorama. It is just a fantastically beautiful diorama with just awesome printed pieces, really cool minifigures. I love that archway and window. Like, it's just, it's so cool. Not a lot of people like this set because it's $100, but I honestly think that that is a fair price because of just how beautiful this set is. I definitely recommend getting it because it's just a fantastic fantastic display set and it's honestly my favorite diorama lego has ever made my second favorite set from last year definitely has to be the executor super star destroyer that is just a fantastic and beautiful set i'm so glad to see lego bringing back mini scale or i guess technically it's now called starship collection i definitely think it's worth the price and it's just a great display set and of course number one has to be the ghost i think anyone that's been a fan of my channel for a while would have known i would say that the Ghost is just a fantastic playset. It's got beautiful minifigures. It's just a beautiful display set, even though technically it's a playset. I love how you can detach the Phantom 2 from the Ghost. I'm sure kids would get lots of enjoyment out of this set too, because you can play with it. It's got spring-loaded shooters, you know, all that fun stuff. So it's just a fantastic set. I will agree the price is a little kind of high, but it's still worth it, and it's amazing. So that's my top five favorite sets from last year. <laughs> Next question is from Plurpis ASA. Have you tried potato swirls on a stick? To be completely honest with you, that's another one of those things where I didn't even know that existed until I looked it up because of your question. And I have not ever tried one, but they look really good. It basically looks like chips on a stick, but like it looks so good. Like I want to try that right now. Like give me some. Next question is from Scott Davis ASA. What is the best way to fix a potato? That's the neat thing. You don't. It's kind of like that saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. There's no need to fix something that's perfect, right? Correct! Next question is from Brick Collection ASA. Why did you not answer my question in the other video? To be completely honest with you, I never saw a question from you in the other video. So I'm going to guess that YouTube probably removed it or it just didn't go through or something. I'm not sure. If you want to ask it again, just ask it in this episode and I'll answer it in the next episode. Next question is from EK Starlord. ASA, what is your thoughts on the Deadpool 3 trailer and are you excited for the movie? I'm definitely excited for the movie. I've been excited for Deadpool 3 since it got announced. The trailer looks just super cool. It looks super funny. I love the humor from the trailer because it, it just captures the same humor from the two movies. Ryan Reynolds is just honestly fantastic as Deadpool and so I'm definitely excited for the movie and I can't wait to see what happens. Next question is also from EK Starlord. ASA, did you enjoy the first three episodes of the Bad Batch season three. So I'm not going to spoil anything. So don't worry for anyone that maybe hasn't
haven't seen it yet. I personally have enjoyed the first three episodes as of right now when I'm recording this video. There's actually now four episodes and episode five I guess technically comes out the day this video comes out. So I'm definitely enjoying it and I recommend anyone that hasn't seen it go watch it. Next question is from Brickett Studios. ASA, how many clones do you have? So I have about 10 of these bins that I keep my minifigures in and inside these bins is a bunch of individual bags from all the different sets with the minifigures and I'm honestly too lazy to go through all my bins and count out the minifigures so if I had to guess I would say I have anywhere between 30 or 50 minifigures but I'm too lazy to actually figure it out. Next question is from TG Collects. ASA which of the new mini scale sets is your favorite? I'm not gonna fully say yet for sure because I don't actually own those sets just yet. They'll probably be here in like a day or two from when this video goes out so maybe like Thursday or Friday so then I can build them and then I'll have a for sure answer but right now just based off pictures I think I'm gonna go with the Millennium Falcon. It just looks so nice. Next question is from Mayo Husco. ASA what do you think of the Star Wars patch GWPs? To be completely honest with you I think it's the dumbest idea ever for Lego to release a gift with purchase and not make it Lego. I don't want a patch I want Lego to go with my Lego. Like a midi scale or poly bag Venator would have been so much better to release with the Venator set than a flippin' patch. Who wants that? Like honestly. So I personally think that the patch was stupid and I think a lot of people can agree with me on that one. And then the last three questions are going to be from EK Starlord again. ASA, do you think Grogu should have stayed with Luke Skywalker at the end of The Mandalorian Season 2? The end of Season 2 made it look like, hey, their parting ways because that's kind of what season two was about like hey you need to find a Jedi that can train him because he needs to be with his people kind of deal and it was like okay I'll go do that and then he did and then it's like I'm taking him back and it was just kind of like wait what so I personally think that Grogu should have stayed with Luke a little bit longer maybe like for half of season three he should have been with Luke and it definitely shouldn't have in intervened with the book of Boba Fett because that show is already kind of dumb but that's another topic <laughs> next question ASA what is your thoughts on the casting announcement for the Fantastic Four? To be honest with you, I think it's cool. I don't really have any issues with any of these actors. I don't really hate or like them necessarily. I mean, I like Pedro Pastel, so I'm like, that's pretty cool to see him in a Marvel movie. So I'm like, there we go. But I don't really have much of a preference. And the last question, ASA, what is your favorite era of Star Wars besides the original trilogy? I'm definitely going to have to go with the prequels because I actually really love episodes. So three. Revenge of the Sith is actually my second favorite Star Wars movie. Anyways, that's going to do it for today's episode of ASA. So thank you all very much for watching. Thank you for your wonderful questions. If you have any questions for the next episode, leave it down below. Sorry if the audio sounds weird at all in this video today. My phone has just been giving me so much crap. I think I might need a new phone now. Thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day. And I realized I did a sin. I forgot to say thank you for the potatoes in this episode. So thank you for the potatoes. I'm a little late, but there we go.